Hello and welcome back to the Christopher Franklin Show. I am Christopher Franklin and today we are... To... Everyone, this is my dog Credence. She kind of uh, rules the roost around here, you could say. And uh, I guess if Credence wants to be on the show, Credence is going to be on the show. So anyways, where was I? Uh, today we are talking about 9mm verse 38 Special. The uh, 38 Special and the 9mm are both the exact same size round. However, the casing, as you can see on the uh, 38 Special, is much larger than, much longer than the casing on the 9mm. And because of that, everyone assumes that a 38 Special round is much more powerful than a 9mm round. However, let me give you a little history of the 38 Special. The 38 Special was invented in 1898 and used black powder. Therefore, the shell casing had to be much larger because black powder is not as powerful as modern day gunpowder. One year later, they did switch to a smokeless powder, but the round had already been invented and they went with it and it was used by our military for a very long time. It was a very popular and very successful round. The pressure in a 38 Special casing is less than half of the pressure in the 9mm casing and that's where the 9mm gets all of its velocity and impact power over the 38 Special is with the powder inside. Much better quality powder inside. If you uh, look at the numbers, the 38 Special has a velocity, muzzle velocity of 800 and a muzzle energy of 185. Now, if you compare that to the 9mm, you will see that the 9mm has a muzzle velocity of 1,190 and an energy of 362, far greater. Okay, we're going to be doing a field test today where we were going to do some uh, penetration tests to see which round can penetrate further through some uh, boards. Um, I will be using a um, Ruger Nuvicaro for the 38 Special and a Glock 43 for the 9mm. Now, a note, the um, Ruger has a over an inch longer barrel than the Glock does so that may affect the test slightly and also the 38 special is in 130 grains and the 9 millimeter is in 115 grains that is the closest uh, grain count that I could get between the two so that is what we're going with so uh, so anyways uh, the uh, 38 Special is in 130 grain and the 9 millimeter is in 150 grain. Both standard full metal jacket Winchester rounds. That is the closest grain count I could get. That's all Walmart had. So that's what we're going to go with. And we're going to go shoot both of them and see what happens. Okay, we're in the field for the penetration test of the 9mm Luger versus the 38 Special. We're going to see how many boards uh, each round will go through. I've constructed this. These are 3 quarter inch thick uh, particle board plates. They are evenly spaced 3 inches apart. There is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them. And we will see how many boards each uh, round will go through. Okay, 38 special. Wow, 
Well, that's pretty impressive. I can already see the bullets laying right here. A little hot. Here's the bullet right here, landed on the table right next to me. Let's see how many boards. One, two, three. Looks like the bullet started to tumble here. You can see it looks like it went through this one sideways. Four. Looks like four. It's cracked the back of it, but it did not go all the way through. You can see it's bulged out here. So it was stopped on the fourth board. Okay. Nine millimeter Luger. I'm gonna go lower this time. Gonna save. Let's see how it did. One, two, three, four, and there's not a mark on the fifth board. Okay, 38 special. There's a small mark on number six. Okay, nine millimeter. I'm gonna go higher with the nine millimeter. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. Wow. Okay, so that time the nine millimeter made it through seven boards. Okay, so as you can see, the nine millimeter won both of the penetration challenge tests. The first one, the 38 Special, went through three and a half boards. The nine went through four. The second test, the um, 38 Special, went through, I believe it was five boards. And the nine millimeter went through uh, six and put a dent in the seventh. Um, I was able to find and recover both of the um, 38 Special bullets. They are barely damaged at all. Um, I have not been able to locate any of the uh, 9mm ammo. I'm uh, guessing that maybe because of the higher velocity they broke apart and that's why I can't find them. But as you can see, even though the 38 Special was a slightly higher grain and had a over an inch longer barrel than the 9mm, it still couldn't compete with the uh, velocity and power of the 9mm. Thanks for watching the Christopher Franklin channel. Please stay tuned for our next video where we find out what really happens when you shoot someone through a peephole.